Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading session for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. This is the weekly reading session for the Virgo friends out there. Thank you so much, Virgo, for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming back. Thanks for being here. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Follow me there, please. Um, check out the online store, the Setting Manifestation Candles. They are already available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you. Check out the blog. Um, the daily um, the daily reading for all signs is going to be posted in the blog, in the website, before it goes live in YouTube. Um, we are also going to offer some advanced screenings. So follow the blog, okay? So Virgo, let's start your reading. Okay, in today's reading, we will be looking at the past situation, the current energy, the predictive outcome and advice. Um, depending on the message for today, I'll let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. But the extended reading is how your person feels about you. Okay, so if you would like to pick up more message, um, yeah, um, you know, check out the extended reading. Depending on the message, I'll pick up for part one because it's part one. All right, Virgo, let's start your reading. Um, so in the past position, you have the Tower card in reverse. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpion here, Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and then you've got the Seven of Wands. It hasn't changed, all right? You're dealing with someone who is very karmic, very soulmate, very twin flame, on and off connection in here. Um, for some of you, the past seems to be, the way it speaks to me is that this person that you're dealing with, Seven of Wands, they, they put a limit. They would like to take control, all right? The Tower card, the Six of Cups. This person is still stuck with you. This person is very much, um, I'm hearing the word engaging. They would like to engage, but they would like you to do it. They would like you to chase them, pursue them. They would like you to, they would like you to initiate, all right? There's some sort of separation that has taken place. Um, there's a block, right? There's a block coming from the past and your person is very stubborn with how things has, like there's a flow. I'm really getting like the flow of energy between the two of you or communication between the two of you. Um, it's blocked because they do have a feelings for you, okay? Let me just, you know, call that out because the Six of Cups, the Tower card, it's hidden. It is as if this person feels like they don't want to. It's a very selfish person. Um, the seven of wands, this is self-limiting, all right? You're dealing with a person who self-limit their love, their affection, their feelings, their action towards you. But very deep inside is a six of cups and the tower card in reverse. Um... Yeah, you're dealing with the person who's very uh, manipulative of their feelings towards you. Because um, you're very intuitive, Virgo. You are aware that this person is interested with you, in love with you, but you know they're playing games. This person is playing games. This person, they have a desire because this is wands, but they play, they play you. They, they're playing games. They're playing mind games. The very deep... Deep inside, what they have a six of cups. I desire you. I want you. I'm connected with you emotionally, but I won't show it to you. And you know that. You are aware of that. You're dealing with a person who um, likes smiling at the outside, but in the inside, there is a turbulent energy that they try to hide. 
I think this person, they've been threatened in the past. They've been betrayed. They've gone through a lot of a lot of things in life. Not just in love, but they've gone through a lot in life. And somehow it has affected them. The way they move in terms of love and romantic communicate. The way they love romantically, it has it is a result of what how they were when most especially if they have childhood um very defensive there's what i'm getting from your person is that they there's a childhood you know relationship history in the past that is making them act this way it is an act it is an act you're dealing with a person who is acting out this way that's not the genuine intention the intention is a six of cups the in, the, what's inside of them is a six of cups, a soulmate connection that's wanting to explode, okay? No, this is this is your person's feelings to you. There's a fireworks. There's a soulmate connection. There's a strong feelings in there. It's like a fireworks inside of them. But they have been like this, I don't know, for quite some time because they have an ability to look, look at that. This is the one and they're pushing the fireworks, the feelings, the desire towards you. They're acting out. In this reading, there is no problem with you. In fact, the reason why you are triggered to react in some, I'd say, not so good way, it's because of your person, because of the uncertainty, because of the inconsistency of your person. Okay? You're good. All right, Virgo, your energy in here is your good. If there's some sort of manipulation in here, it's coming from your person. Very guarded, very manipulative. They're acting out. Um, In the current energy, you've got the six of wands. So for some of you, I really feel like you are no longer interested with this person. You know, In the past, you're like, you're my ace of cups. I want to win you over. You know, this is what, this is you in the past. I really want my Ace of Cups. I want you and me. I want victory and Ace of Cups. But then you realize, wait a minute, how can... Because this is Six of Wands and this is Seven of Wands. So how can you be victorious on your Ace of Cups if the person you love, you're interested with, is the same person, is the energy who's pushing the Ace of Cups away? You realize that. You realize that in the current energy that I'm not the problem. The problem is my person. They give me this to love. And then they take it back. They confuse you. You thought it was your error for some of you guys. But no, it's not. You realize in the current energy, you're not going to win with someone who has an internal battle. Yep, they have an internal battle. Your person is knight of swords. Look at them. No action. No reaction. It's too much holding back. You're dealing with a person who has, for some of you, very vengeful, for very, you know, they're very vindicative for some of you. They're very into playing games. Because seven, you know, seven of wands, there's a desire. But I don't, you know, uh, there's a desire. Look at them, you know. They're trying to outsmart love. You know, your, your person is trying to cheat on love. They're trying to outsmart their feelings towards you. And it's so sad. Because when they push you away, that is where they realize that, wait a minute. You know, I'm, I'm looking already in the, in, in the future energy. Your person, it, your person from past, current, into the future, they will learn a huge lesson. They're trying to outsmart their feelings. They're, they're trying to trick themselves. I don't like you. I don't love you. I don't miss you, Virgo. If there is complication here, it's coming from your person. You will walk away. I see you walking away or not paying attention anymore with your feelings towards this person. Once you go silent, Virgo, this is where your person will have an awakening. They will hold the world and they will look back. And look further moving forward this is them holding the world they look back at the ones the desire the feelings the action that they shared towards you 
and they will choose the other one moving forward. What's next? Am I happy? Of course not. It's already sunset and I don't have my Virgo. Why? Because they play with their feelings towards you. Your person tried to outsmart love. Love is them and you. This is them now feeling like I feel so empowered, but I'm alone. I've got two wands, but I don't have anybody to share. And as a result, this is them, the star card, manif manifesting you back. Wish upon a star. They wish you to go back. But you've already started walking away. Current to immediate future, I see you walking away. There would be a time, a point in time, in the immediate future, that your person will manifest you. You would see synchronicity. You will dream of your person. And I see you having a, um, there's a pivot, pivotal, pivotal change that's going to take place next year. I could not predict it when it's going to happen. But the journey of this connection, if you're resonating with this, is that your person feels like they're winning. They outsmart love. And they realize that they have actually fooled themselves. Because in the immediate future, they're looking like, I have two wands. It should be Virgo, but I didn't invite Virgo to come in. In fact, they push you away, trying to outsmart you, trying to trigger you to chase them. But you walk away. And as a result, I kind of regret that. Why? Because you have two of wands. Your person, they have two of wands, but they don't have anybody next to them. And this is them manifesting you back. I see you have a future connection again. Okay? Um, there's a healing, there's a forgiving, and there's a lot of lesson learned coming from your person. All right? Lesson learned from your person. For some of you guys, you would meet someone new while your person lingers, regrets. You will be very busy with someone new. Okay? So it, it is a journey. You know, it is quite rewarding and very calming, and there's going to be a result either way. You'd either start with someone new, they have to go back with you and you're already with someone new. But there's going to be an outcome. It's not the outcome you expected. Most especially your person. Okay? Because they thought that they could really cheat on love and their feelings. They tried to cheat with themselves, but no. Because the outcome is the star card. I still want you, Virgo. The moon, the stars, you know. You're everywhere in my mind. You are my future, okay? But the thing is, by the time they manifest you, you probably have someone new. So it's a journey. It is a journey. It's interesting how the future holds between the two, between you and this person, this soulmate, this soulmate, this stubborn soulmate. Yeah, It's a very stubborn soulmate. It is as if this person knows you, that you will still be loving them in spite of everything. What they don't know is that there's other love around you. You've got options. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope this gives you the some sort of enlightenment on your words and concern. And I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great week. Bye-bye.